Learn to use it. Use it Korean, use it in English. Use it whatever, Spanish, whatever language you need. Okay? But understand what God has said. Treasure God's precious words. I would challenge you to go through the Gospels over and over again. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Find the words of Jesus. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Matthew, Mark, Luke, John. Go through the words of Jesus. See what He actually said. Don't just take secondhand knowledge that someone said that. Someone says this about what God... No, go through the precious Word of God. Find out what it says. If you wanted to know the Ten Commandments, where would you go in the Bible? To find Exodus. Exodus chapter 20. Go there. Read through the Ten Commandments. See what God said. If you wanted to know the main heart of the teaching of Jesus, where would you go? The main heart, the Sermon on the Mount, where would you go? Matthew 5, 6, 7. That's right. Go to the Gospel of Matthew, chapters 5, 6, and 7. That will give you the main heart of the teaching of Jesus. Okay? In the Sermon on the Mount. If you wanted to know how to be saved, where would you go in the Bible to learn that? Go ahead, Pastor. Okay, Book of Romans. From the beginning to the end, right? He tells all about how to know God and how to, go, how to be saved. Book of Romans, 16 chapters. You can read it in one sitting. Take time. You can sit down and read it in one sitting. It's, a, it's an epistle, a letter to the Romans. It's, very e it, it's not easy reading in that sense, but it explains very clearly how to be saved. Whether you come from a different religious background or you come from a Christian background, but you need to understand how to be saved. Okay? Book of Romans is good for that. If you wanted, if you wanted prayers and you wanted uh, to, to have a time of prayer with God but you don't understand how to pray, where would you go in your Bible? Okay, we can go to Psalms. Where else? Ephesians, okay. Talks, that's a short book there. You could talk many prayers in Ephesians. What about the Lord's Prayer? Where would you go in your Bible? Matthew? Luke? There's two places. Matthew 6 and Luke 11. Okay? According to Jennifer. Okay. Thank you. Matthew 6, Luke 11. <laughs> now she's going to check and make sure. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> Make sure. Alright? You hear what I'm saying? You're, know what your Bible says. Understand it. Let it speak to you. Let God speak to you. Approach the reading of the Bible with a, a, a sense that here is treasure to be found. God is speaking to me. Now, Jehoshaphat did that. Okay? And so he had his officials and... and uh, uh, his priests teach the Bible throughout the land. And he supported them. You see, this finance the work. He supported those that served the Lord. And he promoted the spread of the, God's Word too. And this is the kind of man that Jehoshaphat was. And if we want to be a person who follows God, okay? A person who follows God must be a person that delights in God's ways. We have to know salvation, of course. Despise idolatry. Get rid of those things in your life that you know keep you from God. Get rid of them. Things that are keeping you and hindering your walk with God, get rid of them. Okay? And treasure Bible teaching. Support and promote the spread of God's Word. And by doing this, I believe God will bless your life. Now, uh, I really do. The fear of the Lord fell on all the kingdoms. And I, I didn't get the very last point, and I, I'll save that one for later. Okay? Let's, let's take a minute for prayer, okay?
God is good to us. Oh, Lord Jesus, King of kings, Lord of lords, head over the church, we humbly bow our heads before You, thanking You for being the Lamb of God who takes away the sins of the world. Thank You that You not only died for our sins, but You rose up again from the dead. And You live today. We look to You, a living Savior, as our Lord, Savior, and King. And we know one day You will return. We anticipate that. Until then, Lord, enable Your people to be people who live to follow God. Enable us, Lord, I pray. Lord, that we might delight in Your ways. That the joy of our heart might be to follow after You. That You might increase our faith, Lord. Our faith sometimes is weak. Help us, I pray. <coughs> Lord, that You might direct our steps. Lord, honestly, sometimes we go the wrong way. Lead us in Your will. In Your way. Lord, that we might be people that... Uh, when we talk, we sound like we're Christians. Lord, that we might be people when we think, we think like we're Christians. Lord, that we might be people that honor You in our lives. Show Your love and light in us and through us, I pray. Lord, make it so, I ask. Humbly ask. In Jesus' name, Amen.